Good day, everyone. Welcome back to Media and Information Literacy. For our third lesson, we will be talking about the different types of media. So for today's discussion, we will cover the three different categories or types of media. Print media, broadcast media, and what we call the new media. We will also be talking about media convergence towards the end of this lesson. Let us try to recall first again what is media. How did we describe or define media in the previous lessons? Media is simply described as the channels or ways in which we transmit or communicate messages. So basically, these are what we refer to as communication tools. As I have mentioned, there are three major kinds or types or categories of media. There is print media, the second one is broadcast media, and the third one is what we refer to as new media. Let us first discuss what print media is. It is described as simply a kind of media or a category of media that is consisting of paper and ink. More often than not, this type of media is reproduced in a printing process that is traditionally mechanical in nature. There are two major kinds of print media. The first one is what we refer to as text media. The second one is what we call visual media. Text media is simply described or defined as a very simple and flexible format for conveying ideas, whether it's handwritten or Printed. Simply put, these are words, phrases, and sentences that are transformed into handwritten or printed format. On the other hand, visual media is described as pictures, photos, images, and graphics that are used to channel communication using the sense of sight. So it is a kind of print media that appeals to our sense of sight or to our vision. Examples of printed text media include the books that you read for school, books that you read for leisure, handwritten and printed letters or correspondence, and of course, we have the newspapers. One key feature of print media is typography. It is what sets it apart from the other kind of print media. So what is typography? Basically, this term refers to the art and technique of arranging the visual component of the written word. Now, you are probably wondering, what is the visual component of the written word? Basically, you would notice that whenever you write, words are composed of letters. And those letters are simply composed of lines. So those lines are the visual component. Now, these lines forming letters, forming words, and forming sentences even could be illustrated differently. Typography also features textual designs with optical illusions that helps improve the readability of the text and also aids in conveying the meaning of the printed text media. Moving on, here are some examples of printed visual media. So take, for example, the illustrations, web illustrations that you could see or editorial cartoons that you can see from the newspaper or in magazines or online and online platforms. Another example of printed visual media are billboard. Magazine covers and photographs could also be considered as printed visual media. Similarly, infographics are also considered as an example of a printed visual media. The most important feature or key aspect of a printed visual media is its graphic design. What is graphic design exactly? It is a term that we use to refer to the process of visual communication, communicating via vision or via the sense of sight. Now, this process is the one responsible for organizing and presenting information creatively for a particular purpose. Graphic design could titillate the mind, could entertain people, could inform, persuade, argue a particular issue, inspire others, and so on and so forth. But perhaps the most important thing that you have to remember when using graphic design is that it should be aligned with the intention or with your intended message. Another type of media is broadcast media. Broadcast media is simply the kind of media that reaches target audiences using airwaves as the transmission 
medium. So basically, when we say broadcast media, we often attribute it to radio and television. And that is actually correct. Here are some kinds of broadcast media. We have the audio media and multimedia. Audio media is simply described as a kind of broadcast media that uses audio or voice recording as a medium in the delivery of information to appeal to the auditory sense. If a while ago, printed visual media appeals to the sense of sight, broadcast audio media, on the other hand, appeals to your sense of hearing. Simply put, it is something that you hear or listen to. Broadcasted multimedia, on the other hand, is more concerned with computer-controlled integration of different media types where every information can be stored, communicated, and handled digitally. So in multimedia, that's why it's called multimedia in the first place because there are multiple kinds or multiple types of media being used. So it could be visual, it could be printed, it could be audio, and the others that could be combined to create one media product. Here are some examples of broadcast media. Of course, you have the radio, a voice or audio recorder, and then the television. The third and last type of media is what we refer to as new media. This is the term that we use to integrate the different technologies emerging on one digital platform to organize and distribute content. New media entail the use of different technologies, particularly computers, the internet, and so on and so forth, in order to communicate messages to listeners or to viewers or to media consumers. You probably have already encountered several examples of new media. For one, there is already a growing number of podcasts available. So basically, these are audio recordings of different people talking about different subjects or a variety of subjects, giving out different kinds of information to whoever wants to listen to them. Another example of new media are websites that serve as a repository for huge and vast amounts of information. So for example, we have wikis or even blog sites. We also have augmented reality as another example and multiplayer online games. If you would remember as well, just a few months ago, Mark Zuckerberg also introduced us to the concept of metaverse or basically the virtual reality program or virtual reality plan for Facebook. This virtual reality environment could be the new norm in the future in terms of communicating and is also a good example of an emerging new media. Because of the continuous and constant developments in technology and advancements in our society, coupled, of course, with the dynamic nature of communication, it is inevitable that the different kinds of media may merge or converge and produce one new form of media. This is now what we call media convergence. Media convergence is simply defined or described as the merging of different equipment and tools for producing and distributing news or information through digitization and computer networking. This phenomenon allows media to be produced and distributed on multiple devices as well. This is also what we call technological convergence, a combination, the merging of technology. It is important to note, however, that media convergence only occurs when communication, content, and computing merges into one. When these three processes overlap one another, then definitely media convergence will occur. Take this one for example. You would remember that back in the day when you want to do something in particular, you only could do it using one specific device. So take for example, if you want to write, you could use the typewriter. If you particularly want to watch movies or shows, enjoy shows, then you could watch on the television. You could do it only with the television. When you want to call someone, you could only do it through the telephone. When you want to listen to music, you could only do it using the radio or using a music 
player. However, as time went by, as we went through several progressions in terms of technology, the functions of these different devices have been put into just one single device. So right now, we have the smartphone, we have tablets, we have laptops that could perform all of these activities already. One great example of media convergence is, of course, your smartphone. Before, when you have a cell phone or a cellular phone, you could only do texting or calling. But right now, with your smartphones, you could play games, you could watch shows, you could browse the internet, you could still send messages and call someone, but you could also still use it as your map, as a camera, or even as an audio or listening device. Here are some other examples of media convergence in different fields. If we're going to look at it for one, in the field of communication, social networking sites such as Facebook, Instagram, etc. are already considered a product of media convergence because in Facebook and Instagram, you could do several other things. You could message other people. You could connect with other people. You could share information. You could share pictures. You could share videos. You could share updates, etc. In the field of education, one example of media convergence is, is the right of learning management systems. Some specific examples of LMS or learning management systems are Moodle, Google Classroom, Edmodo, etc. And especially right now, we are engaged in online distance learning. Learning management systems prove to be very useful and relevant. In the field of advertising, digitized print ads or advertisements across different platforms are examples of media convergence. So these print ads don't just run on a single kind of media. They could be shown in different platforms already. In the field of news and reporting, news agencies such as CNN Inquirer are already forms of media convergence. You would probably remember that back then, CNN is only available through the television and only if you have a cable subscription. However, right now, with the advent of the internet and availability of social media, CNN and other news channels have also already created their own websites, even Facebook accounts, wherein they could also regularly update people without the need for these media consumers to subscribe to a cable TV subscription or to even own a TV. Same with the local counterpart of CNN, which is Inquirer. Last but not the least, in the field of entertainment, multimedia personalities such as Oprah, Kanye West, and locally we have Vice Ganda could be considered as people who have maximized the potential of media convergence. Why? If you would notice, these personalities have not only stuck with one kind of craft, with one kind of platform to reach to their audience, but they have also but they have also channeled their talents into different activities. So take for example right now, Oprah is not just simply known as a television host. She is also a known television producer and author of a book. Kanye West is not just known right now as a rapper or a singer. He is also a music producer. He's even into fashion designing right now. Same with Vice Ganda, who does not only perform on TV as a comedian, but she is also an entrepreneur, a singer, and also a movie producer. That ends our discussion for today's lesson. Here are my sources.